mountain is Yama. Okay. There's five vowel sounds, which you can see on here, on either one of these ones. It's A, wait, A, E, U, E, O. The A you say like the letter E. So it's A, E, U, E, L. Like, are either of you in choir? No. Uh, do you know the five vowel sounds in choir? It's the same in Japanese. The five pure vowel sounds used in choir are the vowel sounds in here. And then you have consonants. Like ka ki ku ke ko sa shi su se so ta chi tu te to like that so just go like that and this one right here you have to I probably should have wrote hiragana katakana on it so you remember but the ones that are more circular and not quite as angular and have the small little dude in the seat on the top is the hiragana chart and then the other one is the katakana chart so we have both the alphabets like the two basic alphabets and they wa and wa in here are both the same thing it's just used in different situations kind of like how we have an uppercase alphabet and a lowercase alphabet and like katakana they use it for foreign words and names and sounds like you know how manga they'll have like Japanese written all weird that's katakana it sounds like whoosh punk splat or whatever and then also like names like my name in Japanese, it's Teresa, and I would write it in katakana. You write your name in katakana because you're not Japanese. But if you're Japanese, it's written in hiragana because Japanese. Um, and then kanji, there are thousands of kanji, and I think it's like 2,900 something that are everyday use kanji that you consider like actually literate in Japanese. You need to know why, like you learn them all through how, yeah, throughout school, like elementary, junior high, and high school. So by the time you're the adult, an adult, you know, like 2,000 some kanji, and those are the everyday use kanjis, like mountains, one of them. And they just represent words. And they got the kanji from China, like thousands of years ago. So you see like this in Chinese writing, and it means mountain in Chinese. I just don't know how to say it in Chinese, because they have a different speaking thing. And then in the next page, name suffixes, they, um... They don't just say like, what's your name, first of all? Hannah. Hannah and what? Liz? Like, I'm like, hey Hannah. They don't do that in Japanese, it'd be Hannah-san or Hannah-chan. Like, because they just have name suffixes. And then chan is used for little kids and pets. And also teenage girls use it with their close friends. Like, are you guys good friends? Mm -hmm. Then you'd probably be like, you could call her Hannah-chan and stuff like that. Like, my friend Danny, oh my, it's so cute. Danny chan, Danny chan. I just love doing that, so cute. And then kun is used for boys from about middle school age to like about high school. And it's just like that. And guys use it, use it for guys, but um, some girls, like, if you're really, really good friends, like best friends, teenage girls, you use it with, uh, with each other, like best friends. And then san is just generic you can use it for anyone and because they have different politeness levels in japanese like there's five different ways to say thank you because there's just how polite it is you can be like really informal or like very very polite so just like if you meet a japanese person like if you go to japan and you're talking to someone it's just best to use san can't go wrong with san wrong with san sama is like used to show respect and stuff and use it for maybe like your grandparents or something. Well, not really grandparents, but like older people that you really respect. And then sensei is used for teachers, doctors, and lawyers, and stuff like that. You know, like, I'll teach your sensei, yeah. But what's really important is never introduce yourself as like Hanasan or you never put a name ending on your own name. That's just like really rude or something like that. Just, you don't do that. <laughs> um, why did I put that page there? Okay, we went over those, and the first one, um, where are you from in nationality? I guess I set that up first, so that could be first. <laughs> but, um, to say, like, your like where you're from, your nationality, it's the, you say, like, the country you're from, rather, it's where you're from, your nationality, and then you just add a different ending, like, to say, where are you from, is doko kara kimashita ka? So to respond, like, from, say, I'm from America, down here, it's Amahika, to say, Amahika kara kimashita. 
and nationality is um, Nanjin Daska, so to say you're American, America Jin Das. So you can you just pick one of these and you can put them in there. But um, like Doko is the question where and Karakimashitaka I guess is where you're from. There's three ways to say hello. Like good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Like right now it's obviously evening, so you say Kombonola. But in the afternoon to about one-ish, you'd say konnichiwa, and then after like 10, you'd say konnichiwa, and before that you say good morning, which is ohayo gozaimasu, or ohayo, depending on who you're talking to. Like if you go to your teacher, you won't say ohayo to your teacher, you say ohayo gozaimasu to your teacher because you're supposed to show respect. And then um, to say goodbye, the general just like goodbye is sayonara. And then there's also, I meant to put see you later, but I just put see you. It was supposed to be like see you later, like if you're going to see him later in the day. Say so you have like first hour with a friend, then you have seventh, fifth hour with him. So you don't have seventh hour in high school anymore. Yeah. Be like, matane, see you later. But if you won't see him until the next day, it's mata ashita, which is, um, ashita is tomorrow. So it's just like, yeah. <laughs> um, like I said, thank you. There's like five different ways. The full, like the most polite, formal way is domo arigato gozaimasu. But I just put domo arigato on here. It's just that's good. You can say it to people. They you wouldn't really offend anyone. Um, like if you're saying thank you to Liz, you wouldn't really say domo arigato because she's your friend. You guys are close friends. You could just say domo, which is the very first two characters on there. And then um, I'm sorry is uh, gomenasai. Side. Let's go on to numbers and then we can move on to saying how old you are and what your birth sign is. Then we can go back over some stuff if we have time. So I just want to try to get through everything. Let's run through one through three, practicing those. So it's ichi, ni, san. So ichi, ni, san. That's the katakana. I'll write about the guys later. So no, but, um, now, for four, there's two ways of saying it. There's she and yon. Now, you know how we have like 13 is an unlucky number here? In Japan, four is an unlucky number because besides meaning four, she also means da. So a lot of times you like hotels and stuff, they won't have a fourth floor. And it'll go like 63, 65 because it's just four is unlucky because it means da. <laughs> But, so for you, four, you can say she or young. Then five is go, like go to the store. And six is roku. Let's try saying one through six. Ichi, Ichi. ni, ni. San. san, she, she. <laughs> she's the new giggler. <laughs> okay, um, where do we stop? Stop she. at she. Stop at she. Okay, so go, go. roku. Um, okay, let's try it one more time. Ichi, Ichi. Ni, 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 san, san, shi, shi. go, go. go. Roku. roku. Okay, there's two ways to say it. Shichi and nana. And eight is hachi. Nine is ku or q. Do you know why I don't say it so out loud? Um. Yes, it is. You know that. Kusai, because you say yeah. kusai at the end to say your age. Kusai means stinky. So when you're saying your age, if you have a nine at the end of your age, it's kusai. So instead of calling so yourself nine years old, you can call yourself stinky. stinky. Yeah. Okay, so ten is ju. Now, for eleven through nineteen, it's just like ten one, ten two, ten three. So let's try, I'm going to say them all through once and then we're going to try to say all of them you repeat after me. So let me go through them once and then I'll say them again if you. So 11 is Juichi, 12 is Juni, 13 is Yusan, 14 is Yuyang, 15 is Yugo, 16 is Yuroku, 17 is Yushichi, 18 is Juhachi, and 19 is Juku.